Do you think you can still hit as hard as you used to be able to? We're going to see. I can say this. My last fight, I didn't have no interest in doing it. I'm interested in doing it now. Feel this nice. is fun right now. This bit here. This and then boom. Then we're going to the fight. This is the fun part. Everything else is going to hell. I don't take it serious as I did when I was younger. I always tell people, watch, just forget that Jake Paul is a YouTube guy and watch him box. Yeah. The kid can fight. 100 yeah. percent that tommy fury fight yeah. really showed that the one thing he doesn't want to do is fight mike no he wants to fight mike I why i don't give a f if he's 55. mike That's... trains every day jesus yeah, yeah mike, that guy can still f yeah. you yeah. up that guy will hurt yeah. you yeah. if jake paul's on the other side of the ring and he sees mike tyson just and bobbing and weaving. He's going to have a recognition. Yeah. He's going to look over and go, oh my God, that's yeah. really Mike Tyson. The boxing world held its breath as news broke. Mike Tyson, the Iron Mike, the baddest man on the planet, was returning to the ring, for a training session at least. And his opponent? None other than YouTube sensation Jake Paul. The internet buzzed with anticipation, a clash of old school legend and new age celebrity. But what happened next defied expectations. The gym echoed with the unmistakable thud of leather on flesh. Video footage, possibly leaked, possibly a strategic social media drop, captured the moment Tyson unleashed a flurry of combinations that sent Paul reeling. One clean right hook later, and the internet's golden boy was flat on his back. Now, a knockout in training doesn't necessarily translate to a fight night victory. But the story doesn't end there. Tyson, ever the showman, wasn't content with just a win in the ring. He craved victory in the court of public opinion, specifically the court of Joe Rogan. Moments after the TKO, Tyson, still pumped with adrenaline, hopped in his car and made a beeline for the Joe Rogan Experience Studios. Rogan, always down for an impromptu guest, welcomed Tyson with open arms. What followed was an epic display of trash talk turned comedic gold. Picture this. Mike Tyson, a hint of a playful glint in his eye, sits across from Rogan, recounting the events with the enthusiasm of a kid describing his first amusement park ride. His voice, though a little deeper and rower around the edges, still carries the same charisme that captivated fans decades ago. You ever seen a cheetah try to take down a Reno Joe? He asks, his trademark lisp adding to the humor. The studio erupts in laughter. That's what it felt like, man. The kid's got some moves, I'll give him that. But come on, he's got to be fighting with the wrong kind of influencers these days. This ain't no Fortnite dance battle. Hogan, a master of keeping the conversation flowing, throws in a playful jab of his own. Maybe he thought it was a charity event, Mike, he says, winking at the camera. Gotta give those clicks and views a good pummeling, right? The internet, of course, went wild. Memes featuring photoshopped images of Jake facing off against cartoon animals flooded social media. Dumbbell Challenge started trending, referencing Tyson's playful jab about confusing dumbbells with a real challenge. Talk shows buzzed with the news, commentators dissecting every detail of the training session and Tyson's subsequent victory lap on the JRE. Whether the actual fight with Paul ever happens remains to be seen. But one thing's for sure. Mike Tyson is back in the spotlight, and this time, he's not just throwing punches. He's throwing punchlines, reminding everyone that even in his twilight years, Iron Mike still packs a wallop, both in the ring and on the microphone. Contract, big boy. Come on, sign the contract. Sign the contract, big boy. Sign the contract. No problem. Saturday, July 20th. See you there, buddy. In a recent bombshell revelation, boxing legend Mike Tyson dropped a verbal haymaker that rocked the combat sports world to its core. With the ferocity of a prime Iron Mike uppercut, Tyson declared Jake Paul as the easiest KO of his storied career. The declaration, delivered with the trademark Tyson intensity, sent shockwaves through the boxing community igniting a firestorm of speculation and debate. Tyson's blunt assessment of Paul's boxing abilities cuts to the core of the ongoing saga between the two fighters. With a career littered with pulverized opponents and a reputation as one of the most feared heavyweights in history, Tyson's words carry an undeniable weight. His assertion that Paul would be a mere footnote in his long list of knockout victims 
speaks volumes about the perceived skill gap between the two. This verbal barrage wasn't just a one-off jab from Tyson. He stormed into the Joe Rogan Experience Studio, electricity crackling in the air. Rogan, ever the fight facilitator, cautiously probed for details. Tyson, however, didn't mince words. They call this kid a fighter? Tyson boomed, air quotes emphasizing his disdain. He's a highlight reel with a microphone. Flashy footwork and viral videos don't win championship belts, Joe. This ain't a video game. This is the squared circle, where respect for the sport is earned through sweat and blood. The interview turned into a masterclass on boxing from the legend himself. Tyson wasn't just criticizing Paul. He was lamenting the current state of the sport. These internet tough guys think boxing is all about diss tracks and trash talk, he scoffed. They forget the dedication, the countless hours spent honing your craft until your body screams in protest. It's about heart, Joe, about getting knocked down and rising stronger. But amidst the critique, Tyson offered a sliver of hope for Paul. Maybe the kids got potential, he conceded. But right now, he's all bark and no bite, surrounded by yes men who inflate his ego and tell him he can walk on water. Today, he learned he can't even float in a kiddie pool. The message was clear. If Paul wants to be taken seriously in the boxing world, it's time to ditch the social media theatrics and get serious. It's time to prove his mettle through hard work and dedication, not through carefully curated online personas. Whether this verbal KO will translate into a real fight between Tyson and Paul remains to be seen. But one thing's for sure, Mike Tyson has reignited the debate about celebrity boxing and the true meaning of being a fighter. His words serve as a potent reminder that respect in the ring isn't bought with follower count. It's earned with blood, sweat, and unwavering heart. The boxing world is reeling after Mike Tyson's explosive interview on the Joe Rogan experience. Tyson, the undisputed king of knockouts in his prime, declared his recent sparring session with Jake Paul the easiest KO of his career. But don't count the YouTube star out just yet. In a fiery online statement, Paul unleashed a verbal counterpunch that has fans buzzing. Lucky punch doesn't mean victory, Iron Mike, Paul wrote, his signature bravado shining through the screen. He downplays the incident, claiming it was a mere sparring session and not a real fight. Let's see if those reflexes hold up when there's a real ref and a title on the line, he taunted. This isn't the first time Paul has taken aim at the boxing legend. Throughout their war of words, Paul has consistently portrayed himself as the young lion ready to dethrone the aging king. He leverages his social media prowess, claiming his millions of followers represent a new era of boxing fandom. Respect is earned, sure, Paul concedes, likely referring to Tyson's criticism of internet tough guys. But respect is also earned by facing real competition, not cherry-picking past their prime legends for a nostalgia fight. Paul's supporters are echoing his sentiment. The comment sections are ablaze with declarations of Paul by KO and Tyson's washed up. Some even claim the sparring session was staged for publicity. Whether this is a genuine challenge or a calculated attempt to stay relevant remains to be seen. One thing's for sure, the war of words has escalated. Fight night, if it happens, promises to be a spectacle, fueled by a clash of generations and boxing styles. Will the iron fist of experience prevail, or will the internet upstart pull off a historic upset? Only time will tell. The best boxer on the planet is? Jake Paul. I mean, if Mike Tyson says, let's do this, are you down? 100%. In the midst of the storm, stirred by Mike Tyson's declaration that Jake Paul would be the easiest KO of his career, another thunderous statement emerged from the former heavyweight champion's camp. Tyson, relentless force of nature inside the ring, revealed that he is training harder than ever for his upcoming clash with Jake Paul. But it wasn't just about training harder. Tyson's intent was clear and unequivocal. He wants to demolish Jake Paul. Tyson's words reverberate with the echoes of his legendary career, where he left a trail of destruction in his way. But it's not just his past exploits that speak volumes. It's the intensity and determination with which he approaches every aspect of his training. For Tyson, every punch thrown, every hour spent in the gym, is a step towards fulfilling his singular goal, utter annihilation of his opponent. The revelation that Tyson is training with a newfound ferocity 
sends a chilling message to Jake Paul and the boxing world at large. It's a stark reminder that Tyson is not content to simply coast on his reputation. He is hungry, driven by a primal desire to prove himself once again as the ultimate destroyer in the ring. As the countdown to their showdown continues, the pressure mounts on Jake Paul to rise to the occasion. With Tyson's relentless training regimen and unwavering determination, the task of facing him in the ring becomes all the more daunting. For Paul, it's not just a matter of proving himself as a boxer. It's about surviving the onslaught of a living legend hell-bent on destruction. In the end, only one thing is certain. When Mike Tyson steps into the ring with Jake Paul, he will be a force to be reckoned with. And if Tyson has his way, Jake Paul will be left picking up the pieces of his shattered dreams in the wake of the demolition that awaits him. Okay, first, I get a headgear. Okay, so you both are gonna no, get... No, 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 no. No, I I get ahead. You it's just get gonna be you, okay. And my brother can can come in. Okay, so your brother is gonna come in if you get tired. No, no, at the oh. same time. Okay, so both of you. Yeah, at the, uh, yeah, we can we can go at the same time. Okay, isn't he like sixty? I'm scared. I'm Hey man, Mike Tyson's 57 years old. That man is 57 years old. I know based off that little clip that I just seen, I'd shit. I wouldn't be getting in the ring with him. He moving like that at almost 60 years old? Hell no. Absolutely not. Let's be real. You know, I know Tyson's doing this for a check. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? But if he did want to go out there and beat them, like he can beat them, of course. But if he really wanted to just go out there and beat them, all he got to do is blitz them like that, man. Because all it takes is for one of them hooks to land, and it's a wrap, you know. I'm sure he couldn't fight like that the whole fight or whatever. He probably only got, like, one good round in him because he's damn near 60. But, yeah, if he came out like that, swinging like that, oh, shit. One hit, lights out for Jake. But me personally, nah. -uh. I'm not a risk taker. I'm not even taking a chance of getting hit with one of them hooks. Hell no.